Hello, guys. Uh, how are you doing today? Hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Hello. I'm sorry for this long delay, guys. Thank you so much for the ones that are always on time. Uh, well, I hope you all had a great weekend that you enjoyed your weekend, I don't know, with your family, with your friends or by yourself. So thank you so much for being here on time. And we're going to try to learn today something different, okay? So as usual, I'm going to ask you questions regarding to the last topic. What do you guys remember about the last class? What was the last class about? Who can tell me that? The part of house. The, the what? The parts of the house? Was, was that the... What about the other ones, guys? What can you guys tell me? No se peleen, verdad? Just one, one person, that's it. One person, not too much. What do you guys remember about the last class? Uh, the W which the WH questions. Was that the last class about? Do you really remember that? I don't know. So what 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 do I say or what's the meaning if I say how long? If I say how long, what's the meaning of that? How long? What's the meaning? What does it mean? How long? Nobody remembers that? What's how long? Quanto tiempo? Cuánto tiempo? Okay, if I say something like, let me let me share that. If I say how how come? What's how come? How come? H o w come. What is that? Como? How come? Como? Is that como? Mm -hmm. Guys, nobody remembers that. Parece que venimos de vacaciones y que nadie se acuerda nada. ¿Quién viene? Vacaciones. Say that again, Jose Albert. ¿Quién viene o cómo? ¿Quién viene? Oh, oh, ¿Cómo? ¿Quién da más, verdad? ¿Quién da más? Vanessa. What's that? Eh, era um, informal la pregunta. Ajá, uh -huh, it's informal. Ajá. Uh -huh. Se escucha como guay, pero es de la forma informal. Exactly, exactly. That's perfect. Thank you very much, Vanessa. So, what about um so let me see because you didn't say nothing with how come so i'm going to ask you another question then let me see what about how old what if i say how old what's that Cuantos años? how old yeah to ask for the age what about how far Distancia. Distance. Okay. If I ask you a question like how far 
is the savior of the world from San Salvador's center. What would you say? Uh, let me see, jostling with the why. What would you say if I ask you the question, how far is the savior of the world from San Salvador's center? What would you say? Uh, no sé. You don't know? No. So what about the other ones? Carla, do you have any, any idea? Or Jose Alberto, Zulma, there's a lot of people here. If I ask the question, how far is the savior of the world from San Salvador Center? Do you guys understand the question? No entienden la pregunta, ¿verdad? No, no. Sí, ¿qué, tan ¿Qué tan lejos está San Salvador? Y, pero para responder es la, eh, the, es el, la the dificultad. Pro the problem. Okay, I understand. So if I ask you the question, that question, let me write it down so you can probably how. How far is the savior? Um, okay, there you have the question on the chat. How far is the savior of the world from San Salvador's center? Oh, is it? Is it cutting off? Se me escucha cortado. Is that right? No. No, teacher. No, no. that's so that's probably uh, probably your internet connection, Sulma. It's not working, probably. It it might be raining there. Que tan lejos? Que tan lejos? Uh -huh. But how do how do you answer to that? Como respondemos a esa pregunta? That's the question. So far. <laughs> so far. I mean, I can say so far, like so far away. That's that's a possibility. But why what what did I tell you about the possible answer? If we're talking about distance, because when you ask the question so far, we're talking about distance. So if we talk about distance, think about a possible answer. What will your possible answer be to that question? Puede ser solo, por ejemplo, five miles. Five miles, there we have it. It can be like five miles, 10 or 10 kilometers, two kilometers, two blocks, three blocks, and so on and so on and so on. Why? Because we're talking about distance, but in the informal way, in la forma informal, we can say something like, like what Carla said, como lo que dijo Carla. We can say, so far, en la, la, de, de la manera informal, usted puede so far, muy lejos. That's fine, but that's informal, it's informal. So if you want to speak formal English, you are going to say, oh, it is two blocks, it is two kilometers, it is two miles, 10 kilometers, and so on and so on and so on. Okay, so um, I think it's pretty clear, right? So what about how many and how much? How do I use those for? Or why do I use Teacher, those? Teacher, entonces, ¿qué significa how long? How long? How long? Yes. How do we use how long? What do you remember about how long? Cuánto tiempo. Cuánto tiempo. Yeah, that's right. So that's that's the difference because there, we, when, when we say how long, estamos hablando 
de la cantidad del tiempo o espacio, like how long, cuánto tiempo. That's time or space, but how far it's about distance. So, uh, well, I think that what we have to do is just to study a little bit more, to check, to try to look for information so we don't get confused. But today we're going to start today's class. Today's class is going to be, guys, a little bit of grammar. We are going to move to the grammar part and we are going to try to understand how to place adjectives. You know what an adjective is? Does anyone of you have any idea what an adjective is? What's an adjective? Any idea so far? Adjetivo. Adjetivo. So how? ¿Qué okay. es un adjetivo? What an adjective? Los que califican. They qualify, they describe, they do a lot of things. So most of the time, we are going to use adjectives to describe or to qualify something. So today, as it says there, placement of adjectives. Ahora vamos a aprender cómo colocar los adjetivos y dónde colocar. Because there's a variety of adjectives. Hay una variedad de adjetivos. So we're going to try to learn that today, okay? So first of all, we are going to start with a definition of what an adjective is. Does someone or does someone wants to help me? Someone want to help me? Like to read? Go, teacher. Okay, let's go. What is an adjective? Um, an adjective, adjective is a, it's a word you you use to describe um, a person, place, or thing. An um, adjective modify nouns or pronouns. Or pronouns. Very good. Pronouns. It says there, we are going to use an adjective to describe person, a place, or a thing. So we are always going to use adjectives to describe. Let's see, here we have some examples. We have, it was the gray cat. What's the adjective there? ¿Cuál es el adjetivo ahí? The first one, obviously, is the word in bold, la palabra en negrita, so the gray. Si se fijan, este es un color. Which color is that? ¿Qué color es este? Gray. Gris. gris. El gris. gris. So even though, aunque es un color, este color está actuando como adjetivo. Está describiendo que el gato es gris. Entonces está describiendo el color del gato. So it's describing. So I like black coffee. So even though this is a color too, it's describing that you or he or she likes the coffee black. So it's describing the noun coffee. So we are going to understand today how to place them. Vamos en, a tratar de entender ahora dónde poner los adjetivos so you can understand, okay? Here we have some uh, particular things, particularidades de el verbo to be, cuando tenemos the verb be y un adjetivo. So the verb be plus an adjective es muy fácil, este es el más simple, it's very, very simple. It's because después del verbo to be, en the affirmative, en los afirmativos, vamos a usar un adjetivo. If I say John is old, ¿qué estoy diciendo? What am I saying? John es viejo. Es, es o está viejo? Because the verb is ser o estar. Okay. 
So it's very simple. As you can see, right after, después del verbo to be, we put the adjective. What happens when, the, when I have the negative, cuando lo tengo negativo? I use the verb be, is, are, or am, the word not, la palabra not, and after that, y después de eso, the adjective. Esto es para lo negative, negativo. So I say, John is not John. What do you guys understand? ¿Qué entienden por eso? John no es joven. John no, no es o no está joven. Está. No es o no está joven, ok. So it's very easy to understand when we use the verb be. This is only with the verb be. Eso es únicamente with the verb be. So, what happens with the questions? ¿Qué pasa con las preguntas? I can also use those. Puedo utilizar esos y yo digo, he is happy. So when I change, cuando lo cambio, de nuevo el verbo to be at the beginning, then the pronoun, and then the adjective. So I say, is he happy? Is feliz o está feliz? So I say, yes, he is or no, he isn't. So we already know that. So let me see. Um, Sulma, I would like you to help me reading this part, this part right here, all of this. Go ahead, please. I don't know if you can. Um, I am tired. Tired, okay. You are nervous. Nervous. Ner nervous. Nervous. He is tall. Tall. Oh, mm -hmm. She is happy. Mm -hmm. It is round. Round. Okay. Round. Now, let me see Monica Lue. Help me reading this part right here. You are hot. They are angry. They are angry, okay? Now, with this information that we have right here, do you guys have any questions so far? Con esta información, hay alguien que tenga una pregunta? Any questions so far? Okay, I will take that silence as a no. Now, I need you to pay attention in this, guys. Necesito que prestemos atención. Estos es el orden en el que vamos a poner los adjetivos en una oración. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Que si usted tiene o alguno de estos, one of these adjectives, este es el orden en el que lo va a poner. It means, siempre van a ir de primero, adjectives of opinion. Number two, adjectives of size, length, and height. Number three, adjectives or of physical quality. Number four, adjectives of age. Five, adjectives of shape. Number six, adjectives of color. Number seven, adjectives of origin. Number eight, adjectives of material. And the last ones are going to be adjectives of purpose. So we are going to try, we're going to see some examples. From adjectives of opinion, I have amazing, fantastic, Wonderful, awful, awful. Okay, I will need Julia Yesenia to make the pronunciation of them, please. Okay, amazing, fantastic, wonderful, awful. Awful, thank you very much. Now, let's move on to number two. Size, length, height. We have small, Big, tall, short, long, and huge. 
Now, let me listen to you, Rosa Melida. Make the pronunciation of them, please. Rosa Melida, are you there? Uh, what teacher? Number two. Size, range, mm -hmm. hey. Mm -hmm. A small, big, tall, short, long, push. Huge. <laughs> huge. Huge. Con J, huge. Okay, huge. Huge. Okay. okay. Now let's move on to part three. Uh, well, but let me ask you, uh, do you understand si entendemos todos esos adjetivos o alguien no está entendiendo? What is huge? Huge es grande, enorme, huge, enorme. That's huge. Hey, Vanessa. Awful. What is awful? the purple? Awful, eso es feo. That's awful. Está feo. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What else? Jose Alberto, did you say something? Uh, ya estaba, estaba leyendo en las arriba. Es, uh -huh. um, size. La size is tiny. Size. size. Uh, oh. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh -huh, este, tamaño. Size is tamaño. tamaño. Ok, uh -huh. length. Length es length. Lo, la longitud. Uh -huh. Y la otra sería alto. And that's height is la altura. Altura, okay. Altura, uh huh. Thank. You. Okay, so now let's go to part number three. We're going to talk about physical quality. We're going to say that that's thick, thin, smooth, sharp, hard, and soft. So. Let me let me listen to you, Carla, please. Thick, thin, mm. smooth, mm -hmm. sharp, hard, soft. Okay, this one we don't say think. We we, we only say thin. Solo la letra n al final. Thin. Thin. This one we say it thick. 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 Okay, that's what we do. All right. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to the H. When we talk about H, we have the following examples. We have John, ancient, old, teenage, mature, mature. So John, ancient, old, teenage, mature, okay? So with those, with the ones that we just saw, do you have any questions? Preguntas con los que acabamos de ver. Teenage. Mature. Mature, maduro. Teenage, teenage. adolescente. Thick. Thick. Grueso. Sharp. Sharp, afilado. Smooth. Smooth, suave. Okay, so now let's move on to part number five. We have the shape. Shape es la forma. So we have square, which is a square, round, which is round, circular, with a circular again, and rectangular, rectangular. So those are the shapes, las formas. So I would like to have uh, Vanessa tell me reading or pronunciating those words, please. Square, round, circle. Square, square. square mm -hmm. round. Circle, round, round, circle, circular, 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 
circular, rectangular. Sorry. Rectangular. Okay, that's fine. Now, let's move on with the colors. In the colors, we have white, yellow, red, pink, black, and green. So there's more colors. Obviously, we have gray, we have brunette, we have uh, which other one? Uh, white, uh, blue, bright blue. There's a lot of colors, but these ones are just examples. So let me see Jocelyn. No, Marvin Marroquin. Marvin. Perdón, teacher. Este, no, escuché cuál? no, I just want you to read. Just to read the, the part of the colors. Ah, okay. Colors white, yellow, red, pink, black, green. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's move on to part number seven, which are the adjectives of origin. Origin, origen. So when we say about, when we say origin, origen, we're talking about probably your nationality, probably the country where you were born, el país donde naciste, so that's origin, okay? So we have Spanish, British, English, French, we can have Salvadorian too, Honduran, Guatemalan, Costa Rican, Panamian, I'm sorry. We have uh, Belizean, we have Mexican, we have American, we have Canadian, we have a lot of them. So when we say origin, most of the time we're talking about nationality or countries where you were born, okay? So uh, Denise, uh, please help me reading the origin part. Spanish, British, English, French. Okay. Once again, guys, remember, cuando tenemos una palabra que, empe que empieza con S, nunca pronunciamos una letra E al inicio. Tenemos la mala costumbre de decir Spanish, o de decir square, o de decir otra palabra, small. Siempre pronunciamos una letra E antes y eso en inglés nunca sucede. Solo pronunciamos o hacemos el sonidito de la letra S. So decimos small, decimos Spanish y decimos square. No, nunca, pero nunca decir small, square, Spanish. No, tenemos que empezar a trabajar en eso, ¿ok? So now. Let's move on in the part of the material, material. So we're talking about everything, all the materials that we have in different things. We have examples here, wooden, wooden, plastic, metal, cotton, and gold, okay? So I will need Griselda. Griselda, can you help me reading this part? Wooden, mm -hmm. plastic, metal, cotton, mm -hmm. gold. Gold, okay. That's very, very simple. So now, do you guys have any question? Pregunta so far. Question so far? Wooden. What is wooden? Wooden, amaderado. Any other question? No? Okay, so now let's go to the last part, which are the adjectives of purpose, the propósito. So it's pretty much things that you're doing. Even though, como si se pueden fijar acá, son verbos, pero estos verbos a veces tienen función de un adjetivo. ¿Cómo voy a saber yo que es un adjetivo si está usando un verbo? Porque, recuérdense, un adjective va a describir algo. Voy a describir una cosa, un lugar. ¿Qué más? What else? 
Personas. Person. Person, okay? So we have the last part, which are the adjectives of purpose. And we have some examples here. We have cooking, cleaning, sewing, and washing. Washing. So I will need a volunteer. Let me see, I see that someone raised your hand. Jocelyn, thank you very much. Let's go, Jocelyn. Cooking, cleaning. Sorry, no veo no otra. Sewing, washing. Sewing. Sewing. Mm -hmm. Es lo que las abuelitas hacen, ¿verdad? You give them a clothes, le dan una ropa y ellos se la cosen. That's sewing, coser. Okay. So, do, do you guys have any questions? Tenemos alguna pregunta hasta el momento. Any questions so far? So far, so good. ¿Todo bien? Cooking. Cooking is, for example, that you go to the kitchen, vas a la cocina, and you, what's the action? Cocinando. Exactly, cocinas. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Um, este podría repetir este donde dijo de que cuando íbamos a ver que era un adjetivo cuando un verbo es que se me va el internet y no entendí ok si se fijan acá if you notice here todos estos que estamos usando acá son verbos si se mm -hmm. fijan, qué es lo que podemos observar que todos tienen ing 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 so para ustedes saber ¿Cuándo es que está haciendo un verbo y cuándo es que está haciendo un adjetivo? Es que deben de recordar la definición. ¿Cuál es la definición de adjetivo? Un adjetivo es una palabra describe. que describe a una cosa, persona o lugar. So, we have to analyze, analizar, ¿qué está haciendo este verbo aquí? ¿Está actuando como verbo o está describiendo algo? So if you notice, si usted nota que está describiendo algo, so automatically, automáticamente vamos a decir, ok, este verbo, no el verbo, está siendo usado como adjetivo. Ok. Perfect. Now, remember, tenemos que recordar, adjectives of opinion, adjetivos de opinión, los primeros, tamaño Longitud y altura, number two. Cualidades físicas, three. Edad, four. Forma, five. Color, six. Origin, seven. Material, eight. And purpose, nine. We have to remember that. Tenemos que recordar. Because now, tenemos un ejemplo aquí. Todos, necesito que todos, allí donde ustedes están, los coloquen en orden y luego de la manera en que ustedes piensen que el orden es, basado en lo que ya vimos, escriban la oración en el chat. So we are going to see, para ver quién la escribió o quién se recuerda, cuál es el orden que debo seguir. Let's see. You have, tenemos one minute, un minuto or two minutes the most, o dos minutos lo máximo. Once you have it, una vez lo tenga, write it on the chat. Type it on the chat. Okay, we have the first person already. Jocelyn. 
Okay, Jocelyn. Okay, thank you, Carla. We have Jocelyn and Carla. We have Jose Alberto too. We have 13. Okay, Marvin. Thank you very much, Marvin. <clears throat> Somos 13 in total, 14 with me. So I just have, solo tengo cinco hasta el momento, five answers. Okay, I have Griselda's already, Monica too. No esté copiando, vea. No solo porque vea la respuesta del otro, ponga lo mismo. Uh, someone is texting there. Julia, okay, I have Julia too. I have Denise. I have Jocelyn. Marvin is typing there on the, the screen. Okay, Vanessa, I can see. Okay. Okay, so I don't know what happened with the other ones. I, I'm still missing, todavía no veo el de Zulma. I don't see. Let, let me see. Who else? Okay, Sulma, okay. It, it's okay, oh, it's okay, it's fine. So now, let's see. Vamos a ver quiénes la tuvieron correcta. Here we have, so the majority, no, everyone can see it, Marvin. Apparently, todos lo podemos ver. So let me see, let me try to erase that. Everyone can see it, that's fine. But you know what? Si te fijas, no estabas tan perdido, it's fine. It's fine. So, podemos ver que todos están en lo correcto. Now, let me ask you, tall, a qué tipo de a, a adjective belongs? A qué tipo de adjetivo eh, pertenece? Size. Size? Mm. Okay, yeah, I'm talking about size. I'm saying tall. What about junk? What type of adjective is that? Age. Age. Excellent. What about black? Color. 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 In American? Origin. 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 Excellent. So I think that now we, we understand a little bit better, ¿sí? Si se fijan acá, estoy diciendo un joven, un joven, eh, well, I'm not going to say, eh, sonará un poco racista quizás if I say black, but I mean, that's, that's the way it is, right? So estoy diciendo un joven negro alto americano, ¿sí? Un jugador so that's the way, esa sería la traducción que le daremos. Un jugador americano. I'm sorry, no, that, that was my bad. Un jugador joven, negro, alto americano. So that will be, it's kind of, kind of weird when we, when we kind of translate that. Sounds weird. But we have to understand, tenemos que entender cómo se posiciona. How you're going to place all the adjectives in order. Para que la oración sea gramaticalmente correcta, we have to understand. Tenemos que entender dónde colocarlos. Do you have any questions so far? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Okay. That's a no. So let's move on. Para saber si ese o esa palabra está actuando como un adjetivo, Yo puedo hacerme tres preguntas. ¿Cuáles son esas tres preguntas? 
un adjetivo, como dice aquí, questions to identify an adjective. Preguntas que yo me hago para identificar un adjetivo. Yo puedo preguntar, which one, what kind, and how many. Tenemos los ejemplos acá. Yo tengo esta oración, I have this sentence, que dice, it was the gray cat. So yo pregunto, which was the cat? ¿Cuál gato fue? Si se fijan, estoy utilizando esta pregunta. Which one? ¿Cuál es la respuesta que me da esa pregunta? Which was the cat? ¿Cuál fue el gato? The gray, the gray cat. Entonces, automáticamente yo sé que el adjetivo en esta oración es gray. Porque la respuesta de esta pregunta es gray. So now, ahora vengo y yo tengo number two. I like black coffee. Como dice que le gusta el café negro, ahora vengo yo. ¿Qué pasa si yo me hago eh, la pregunta which coffee do I like? ¿Estaría bien esa pregunta? ¿Cuándo utilizo which, guys? We already saw WH questions. Ya vimos las WH questions. So, how or when? Cuando, cuando hay una como elección. Election or when I have a choice. Excellent. When I have a choice. En este caso, ¿tengo una elección yo ahí? I like black coffee. No, right? Entonces. No automáticamente descarto yo la primera pregunta. Quiere decir que which no la puedo usar ahí. ¿Por qué? No tengo una elección. I don't have a choice. Entonces vengo y pruebo. ¿Puedo utilizar how many? ¿Puedo decir how many do I like? ¿Cuándo uso how many? Cantidades. Por cantidades. ¿Me está dando una cantidad la oración? No, right. Entonces descarto. Quiere decir que esta pregunta y esta pregunta, I cannot use them. No la puedo utilizar. Entonces solo me queda esta. Ahora vengo y digo, what kind? ¿Qué significa what kind? It significa, it means, ¿qué tipo? ¿Qué tipo? Pero eh, refiriéndose a algo. ¿Qué tipo de ese algo me gusta? Entonces aquí me está diciendo la oración, I like black coffee. Me gusta el tipo de café negro. So, entonces, quiere decir que esta oración sí la puedo usar. Entonces yo digo, what kind of coffee do I like? ¿Qué tipo de café me gusta? Black coffee. Entonces, automáticamente yo sé that the adjective, que el adjetivo ahí es la palabra black. ¿Sí estamos entendiendo? Are we understanding? Need confirmation yet, guys. Yes. ¿Sí? Yes, teacher. Sol, solo Alberto entendió. What about the other ones? Well, we take that as a yes. So if you have any question, remember, ask the question. Pregunte. No se quede con la duda, okay? So now let's move on if there's no questions. Now, let me see. Things that we always have to remember. As it says there, when it comes to function, adjectives are information gatherers. Son recolectores, gatherers de información. Especially, they provide, proveen further information, información adicional, about an object's size, shape, age, color, origin, or material. Que son las que ya vimos, right? So we have some other examples here. Jose Alberto, help me with the first one. It's a big table. 
Thank you very much. Rina Margarita, number two. Eat and rub tablet, table. Table, thank you very much. Marvin Marroquin, number three. Eat and all table. Thank you very much. Jocelyn with the Y, con la Y. It's a brown table. Thank you very much. Jocelyn with the J. It's a English table. Okay. Sulma. So I think, well, Edir, su internet como que no está funcionando. So Monica. It's a wooden table. Wooden table, okay. Julia. Julia Yesenia. Well, I think she's not there too. So Carla then. Um, it's a lovely table. Thank you very much. Rosa Melida. It's a broken table. Okay, Vanessa Gabriela. It's a coffee table. It's a coffee table, okay? So as you can see, we are using, estamos describiendo al mismo sustantivo utilizando diferentes tipos de, uh, I'm sorry, estamos describiendo el mismo sustantivo utilizando diferentes tipos de adjetivo. So, big table, round table, old table, brown table, English table, wooden table, lovely table, broken table, and coffee table. So, using the same noun, to describe or, or using a different adjective on each one of them. So that makes difference. Any question? Alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Repeat, um, woman. Wooden. What's that? What's that? Mm -hmm. Amaderado. Exactly, amaderado. Broken. Broken. Quebrada. Broken. Yes. You can repeat the pronunciation of lovely or lovely. Yeah, we say lovely. Lovely table. That's una encantadora. Lovely table. Mm -hmm. Any other question or are we fine? Estamos, estamos todo bien? Well, yes, sir. Perfect, let me see. Todos necesito que me corrijan estos errores y los escriban en el chat. Para que no se vea muy desordenado, escriba las tres respuestas en la mis in the same message, okay? So, correct the mistakes. Okay, we have the first person here. We have Jocelyn. Okay. Okay, we have Jose Alberto. We have Vanessa. Okay. We have Carla. Okay, that's good. What about the others? Solo tenemos one, two, three, four. Cuatro respuestas de trece personas. We have Rina too. I believe. Okay. We have Griselda.
What about the others? ¿Qué hay de los demás? What about the others? Julia y Esenia, I can see it, okay. Jocelyn with the Y, with the J, okay. Zulma, okay, that's perfect. Denise, okay, I can see it there. All right, so I think that uh, we are pretty clear there. Marvin too. That's good, Marvin, because the first one and the second one, you made it a question. That's good, it's still, it's still fine. Okay, now let me see. Carla, help me with the, with the first one. What's the mistake? ¿Cuál es el error? Which one is the mistake there? I like green cards. I like because green cards. Okay, the color uh, the is color. the qualification. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much. Jose Alberto, help me with number two. She is happy. She is happy or we can follow the example of Marvin. He wrote on the chat, is she happy? So it's the same thing. We can we can make it a question to or a simple sentence or affirmative sentence. That's good. So let me see, uh, Vanessa, Gabriela, what about the last one? A tall woman. A tall woman. Now let me ask you, Jocelyn, with the why. Que tipo? What type or what kind of adjective is this one? Green. Color. Color. Monica Lue, what type of adjective is happy? Do you have any idea? The op op well, Vanessa, did you say something? ¿Qué tipo de uh, physical quality. Physical quality. ¿Todos de acuerdo con lo que Vanessa está diciendo? Emotion. That's an emotion, but what did you say, Jose Alberto? The opinion. Opinion. Okay, we have there a lot of opinions. Tenemos muchas opiniones. So is it uh, emotions? Is it opinion? Or is it, uh, I forgot what Vanessa said. So if I, let's go back. Vamos, vamos a ver acá. So if I say happy, if I say something like, oh, I'm happy, estoy feliz. In that case, yo estoy diciendo, si yo estoy diciendo that I'm happy, estoy feliz, estoy, o ella está feliz, estoy dando una opinion. So in this case, the verb or the adjective, I'm sorry, el adjetivo es this adjective of opinion. What about tall? What type of adjective is tall? Size. Size. Physical. 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 Okay. Quien más? Alguien más tiene otra opinión? Is that physical? Is it physical or? High length height. High length size. Okay, let's go back. Let's see. Physical, if I see physical, as you can see here, tall, it's size, length, height, because we're talking about la altura, we're talking about height. So in that case, the uh, adjective tall is size, length, and height. Now, let's see. We're going to just do this practice right now because we just have uh, like two or three minutes. So I will um, decide, you can decide, todos pueden decir cuál 
de estas, necesito que las pongan en orden. Dos cada persona. Ustedes eligen cuál. So as it says there, put the words in the right order. Poner las palabras en el orden correcto. Dos por cada persona and you, you type it on the chat. Lo escriben en el chat. You decide which one you want. Ustedes deciden which one you want. Okay. Let's go. Teacher, una pregunta. Y en una oración, ¿cuántos adjetivos pueden ir? We can have like at least five adjectives. Podemos tener hasta cinco adjetivos en una mi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Once you have it, una vez los tenga, write it on the chat and we're going to see if it is correct. We have no answers yet. Teacher, yes. y en esas que no tienen el verb to be. Uh, which ones? And we, and the first? The first one, we have the verb. Here's the verb. So if we don't have the verb be, we have another verb. Uh, thank you. Okay, I can see Julia. I always miss my parents. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, that's perfect, Julia. Those are correct, actually. Jocelyn with the Y, no, with the J, I'm sorry. See my parents always. Huh? No, that one. Unfortunately, it's not correct because the adverb of frequency is not, it's not shouldn't be there. Right? The sweater green, okay. Mm, Monica, it's almost there. El adjetivo no está en el lugar que debería estar, Monica. Why is the green sweater? Okay, Jocelyn with the, with the J. She likes the green sweater. Okay. She likes the green sweater. We bought a new one. Okay. That's good. What about the other ones? ¿Qué hay de los demás? I cannot see your answers yet. Aún no veo sus oraciones there. Jose Alberto. Okay. I can see yours there. Rina Margarita. Okay. The sweater likes the green. Rina Margarita, no, that's not correct. Porque ahí me está diciendo, ella, suéter, le gusta el verde. So it doesn't make sense at all. New bought we a house. Tampoco porque me está diciendo, nueva, compramos nosotros una casa. So it doesn't make sense. But it's fine. Al tra de tratar, we have to try. That's fine. Carla, we bought a new house. Let me see. She likes the green color. Okay. Let me see. I visit always my parents' Sundays on. Uh, fortunately, she likes the sweater green. No, Marvin. Unfortunately, desafortunadamente, hay una palabrita que le estás poniendo en el lugar incorrecto. So we're going to try to find that out. So let's see. Vamos a ver. And the first one is we 
bought, nosotros compramos a, una new house, una casa nueva. Number two, she likes, ella le gusta, the green sweater, el suéter verde. Number three, her daughter, su hija, usually, usualmente, doesn't work, no trabaja, on Fridays, los viernes. Number four. It says, it says, family, the family, Ate, la familia comió, in a, en un Japanese restaurant, en un restaurante japonés. And the last one, I, yo, always, siempre, visit, visito, my parents, mis padres, on Sunday, los domingos. Carla. Teacher, uh, one question. Uh, in the in the sentence, uh, her da her daughter mm -hmm. usually. Uh, what is the adjective? The adjective here in this case we don't have an adjective actually, in this one, because usually, in este in esta es la única donde no tenemos un adjetivo. Aquí tenemos un adverbio. That's another thing, que es otra cosa. But thank okay. you so much. Muchas gracias por notar que no tenemos ningún adjetivo ahí. Or ask the question. Okay. Thank you. Yes. For thank you. So, that's going to be all for today, guys. Eso va a ser todo por hoy. Do you have any questions before we go? ¿Alguna pregunta antes de irnos? No? So, well. Yes, eh, yo quería saber si queda grabado este la clase. Fíjense que no, no pude verla toda. Yes, you can go in the, when they send you, cuando te enviaron el email, ahí te envían una dirección del canal de YouTube. Estos videos o todas las clases están posteadas en el canal de YouTube. Puedes acceder al link y ver todas las clases que tú quieras. Ah, bueno, sí, porque hoy sí no entendí casi. Ok, that's fine. You can sí. go to YouTube and watch the video. Bueno. So remember to keep working on the platform, en la plataforma, sí. Eh, y eh, to start working on section four, en la sección número cuatro, ok. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the class and see you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.